Da, 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 da. It's Friday. It's Friday. And we're Friday. And I'm live. <laughs> and I'm already annoying. And we just got started. Hey, guys. Sherry Elise here. And welcome to Friday. I'm going to wait a minute to see who's hanging out with me. And let me know that you're here. Send some hearts. Say a comment. Say hello. Tell me where you're watching from. And I hope that you guys are ready for transformation because I do not do these Facebook Lives until you know that you are ready for change and to implement change because it's a big friggin' deal. It's a big deal to make big changes in your life. And today I am sharing with you how to release the shit that holds you back. Five steps to hold you back. Good morning, everybody. Hello, Mazura, Candy, Robin, Chrissy. Hello, good morning. I'm excited to be here with you guys. I'm excited to share with you because really my passion is about implementing change for you guys and helping you to see that there's so much greater for you in your life. Um, I'm not someone who just preaches about it and talks about it. I'm someone who lives it. I'm on a daily journey every single day to live the best that I can because if you and I are just sitting on the sidelines of our life, then in my mind, there's no point in living. <laughs> and that's not meant to be like all dramatic. So make sure everybody, you guys say hi to each other here. You know how I feel about spreading a little love between each other. We all have all this, you know, craziness in our own lives that we might as well be kind to one another. So like each other's posts, say hello. And um, the first thing I invite you to do, and it's one of my favorite things that John Gray says, he says, take your shoes off at the door and don't track your past in from behind. So that is what I am inviting you guys to do today. Take your shoes off. There is no need to take what's back there and drudge it through your house. There's no need to take what's back there and keep clouding and dirtying up everything that could be in your life. I know you guys have these moments or these things in your life that are that make you feel stuck. They're dragging you down. They're weighing you down. And while you might see something different for yourself, it keeps popping up for you. It keeps popping up like, why isn't this working out? What? What is not happening in my life? And why is that not happening in my life? So today I'm going to help you transform with five steps to release the shit, the crap that holds you back. Good morning, profession. Good morning, Sandy. So the first step in doing this, because if you do not do this in your life, any of this, you will never have a goal to look forward to. You will never have something to move towards. So when you think about the life that you want to lead and how you see yourself, I need you to envision it. Because if you have no vision for your life, then you're not going anywhere. Then you're wandering aimlessly. You're wandering aimlessly through the desert, wondering when you're going to get a drink. But you probably don't even know there is a drink because you have no clear direction. So good morning, Christy. Hello, lovely. And Candy said she loves that. She must be talking about taking your shoes off and not dragging your past through with you. So envision the life you want. What does it look like? What does it feel like? What does it taste like? You know, are you someone who sees this, you know, great career for yourself? Are you just surrounded by love? Do you, are you traveling the world? Are you just simply peaceful and content? What does it look like? Because if you do not have this vision for yourself, there's no way to release what's stopping you from getting what it is that you want. The next step in our five steps, and I'm going through this, I'm going through this quickly because first of all, I know you guys don't have all day for this, but I want you guys to understand the basics of this. And it sounds like it might be methodical, but really, if we don't really think about what it is that we want and where we want to go and how to do it, then we end up where you might be and where I was, which is just always running into roadblocks. So number two in releasing your crap is take inventory of your life. Don't just wake up and wonder why you're angry. Don't just wake up and wonder why you're frustrated in your life. Actually see. See where you're stuck. See what's stopping you. Where in your life, along to getting to that vision that you want, what is stopping you? Notice it. Look at it and go, oh, my God, I, every time I'm about to get into a relationship, I back up. I'm maybe not trusting. Every time I want to do something career-wise, I self-sabotage. 
Every time that I want to get a closer relationship with my parents, I do something to ruin it. So figure out what that is for you. Take inventory of your life, where you're stuck, what it is that is holding you back. And then once you've been able to do that, this is where, and this is, this is a big one because I don't want you guys to judge yourself for it. There's no need to judge yourself for where you're at. First acknowledge it and go, okay, so I have trust issues. And every time I'm about to get into a relationship or give something over, I back up, a wall builds up. Acknowledge it and then forgive yourself for it. Because if you're hard on yourself for the things and the ways that you're acting, you're never gonna get past that next point because you're so busy being hard on yourself. And the truth is, is that we're all just doing what feels safe for us. There are moments in our lives where our trust has been broken or we were disappointed, something happened and we built up these walls that I've talked about before. And I'm sure you guys know about that. But in that moment in time, you learn to protect yourself. And so what ends up happening is that in other situations in life, you end up putting up this same defense mechanism. And so forgive yourself for that because all you were doing was protecting the little boy or girl in you, that's it. So acknowledge, that this is what you're doing, where you're being held back, and then forgive yourself for it. And number four, in releasing the shit that holds you back, gratitude. Give thanks in advance for being supported as you go through this journey. Because this is going to be a hard journey because you've been holding on to these cinder blocks, you've been shackled by this most of your life, and once you release something, it's going it's gonna feel uncomfortable, it will, and there's no getting around that. And what's gonna happen is that that safety that you thought you felt, you're gonna feel very unsafe, very naked, very bare, and you're gonna wanna run back to where you were, to what you thought was protecting you, but it wasn't. It was holding you back and is holding you back from the life you see from yourself, for doing everything that it is you want in your life, or living the life that you know that you want. So just, Thank in advance because you are always supported. You are always lifted and you will walk through this, but you got to do it one step at a time. And you got to know that you're being held up through this. Thank you, Candy. Robin says, unstuck yourself. Work on unstuck in yourself. Yes. And I like to say unstick, unstuck. So number five. And this is the most important. So we've envisioned the life we wanted. We've taken inventory for it. We've acknowledged and forgiven it. We've given gratitude for it. And now, the big one, we're gonna implement change. You gotta cut those cords, baby. You gotta cut what has been holding you down. And there is no magic way of doing it. It is simply about taking the steps and doing what you need to do to get from point A to point B. And so if you've done all those other steps, by the time you get to this one, you already know what's been holding you back. You already have a vision for yourself. You've already forgiven yourself for it and you've already thanked along the way to be supported. So now to implement change is not nearly as scary and it's not nearly as hard because you're all prepped. You got that strong foundation under you. And now all you have to do is go, okay, I am gonna take that risk. I will apply for that job. I will be willing to risk my heart and say I love you to somebody, even though it might not be returned. But it's okay because I want to be in this life loving fully. I don't want to live a half-assed life. I'm not here to stand on the sidelines. I'm not here to cover, to cower under the covers. I'm here to live full out. And so this is your moment. And so you take all those things that have been holding you back, you unlock that key, you take those cinder blocks, you cut that cord, whatever works for you in envisioning that life, that is what you do. Yes, and Danny says you stay consistent. Yes, in moments that you don't do what it is that you are working on, you also forgive yourself and you try again. You try again. Lisa says you are spot on, not, a, not an easy journey, but worth it. Absolutely. We, you are worth it. And anybody that tries to tell you like everything is just this magic thing. And if you just think hard enough and you go, okay, I am the change. I am wonderful. I am amazing. Well, yes, that helps. Action does too. And the thing is, guys, you're worthy of it. 
And it is not, you're not intended to be on this earth to live a life that you don't feel joyful about. And while there is going to be hard moments, and trust me, I feel them. Yesterday I was having a bad day, but you know what? I know that it's not a bad life. It's a bad moment. It's a hard or frustrating moment. But I know that I'm always supported, and I know the next moment can pass, and I know, and I know, and I know. And so you know what happens when I know fully in every cell of my body? I'm able to move through it. I'm not fighting against myself. I'm not going, God, I wish and why not? And I hope it's like, no, just walk through it, Sherry. That's all you have to do is walk through it, stay consistent, take those steps and love yourself every freaking step of the way. So with that said, I am hoping that this has served you in the best way because my greatest wish for you, and this is the truth, honest to God of my soul and why I do this is that I know that there is a beautiful life for you to be led. I know it. And you actually have it right now. But sometimes we aren't able to see it because of whatever the outside stuff that's going on. And so I invite you to know within every cell of your being that your beautiful life is already here and it's just a waiting for you to show up and allow it to manifest itself. Guys, come visit me at sharingwithsherry.com. And then, of course, go check out thewellnessuniverse.com, which is a whole community of people that are willing and wanting to help and guide you towards total well-being, whether it's physical or emotional or spiritual or social, just an amazing community of people over there. I'd love for you to sign up as my Wellness Universe friend. And it's free. It's totally free. I'm not selling you anything. Um, I love you guys so much. And I wish you an amazing weekend. I want you to be brave in your life because you deserve your bravery. And I'm not going to sing again because every time I play some kind of music, I get cut off here. So uh, let me know what it is, what it is right now in one quick comment. What are you releasing today? If you want to share, what are you cutting the cords to? What, is, what transformation is currently happening in your life right now? Because while you're busy thinking about it, you are activating things. You are activating cells and energy that's already saying, all right, I'm ready to let this go. And when you're ready and you're willing, it happens. And it may not always seem that it's happening, but it is. And I promise you. And I promise you that. Thank you, Pravesh. So I hope wherever you are, that you are releasing. Release, release, release. Because the shit that's holding you down is not stronger than you. It's all moments in time. It's all circumstances, but it is not the beautiful creation of your soul. It is not the beauty of it. It is not the weight of it. It is not the magnificence of it. There is nothing that can stop you once you understand that. Missouri said she is, she is releasing past hurt and trust issues. And Jody says pressure. And Lisette says resentment. Yes, yes, God, resentment. How much does that hold us back? being upset at people and things and moments and time. And all this stuff that we're holding on to doesn't hurt anybody else. Someone that's hurt us, it hurts us. We are suffering. We are living in our own prison. And I want you guys to break free of it. I love you all so much. And today is a day where you break free. And I ask you to stay consistent, wake up every single day and remember why you're here, who you are, how strong you are and what you can do. And with that, be kind to one another. And I love you. And uh, don't forget to show up in my Facebook group. I never see you guys there. And for some reason, I'm like losing like 100 people a day. How come you guys don't like me anymore? <laughs> I love you so much. Have a beautiful weekend, a beautiful day, and of course, a beautiful life. Bye, everybody. Say bye to each other. <laughs> bye, guys.